A West LA shelter just contacted me and they have a three-year-old. They don't know what to even make of her mix. They say possibly Cocker Spaniel, but she's a mystery mutt at this point. They say she's very sweet, but she's also very sensitive and she's not doing well in the shelter environment. Are you the one being loud? Are you the one being loud? Uh-huh. I can hear you all the way down there. Having spent her entire life bouncing between shelters, the streets, and unstable homes, Maggie is a sad example of a dog who has fallen through the cracks. And now those years of instability are taking a toll on her emotional well-being. Come on. You are nervous, aren't you? Were you on the street? Yeah, for a while, weren't you? Don't worry. That won't happen again. Come on, let's go for a ride. But Maggie's journey to a forever home starts with a trip to the vet. Hey, Kelly. Hi, how are you? Good. I got Maggie right here. She has an appointment with Dr. Nardi. All righty, she's expecting you. Come on over. Hi. Hey, Dr. Nardi. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Hi. Who do we have here? We got Maggie. I just got her from the shelter. She's obviously kind of nervous right now. The shelter warned me of this. OK. But I just wanted you to give her a once over and tell me sure. what you think about her overall. You are a little nervous, huh? Yeah. You're she's shaking a little bit. She's been shaking since the moment I got her. Well, let's take a look at her. Good. Eyes are nice and clear. It looks like she's definitely got an infection in her right ear. Yeah, definitely an infection in the left ear as well. Okay. There's quite a bit of brown debris yeah. in both ears. Ear infections are very common um, in spaniels. Okay. Any dog that's going to have the floppy ears, a lot of times moisture gets trapped and they get infections. Overall, she looks very good. Okay. What I'd like to do at this point, I'd like to take her in back. I'm going to run a test on the samples I got. We'll check for yeast, bacteria, see what's growing in her ears. Mm -hmm. And then we'll do a nice deep ear cleaning, and then we'll send her with some medication. OK, perfect. All right. How's she she do? did excellent. She's so good. Her ears cleaned up so nicely because of the way her ears fall, long and floppy, you're going to want to clean her ears. So we have a medicated cleanser we'll send you with. When you do it, you're going to just fill her ear up, you know, like you're filling up a cup, massage, and you're just going to wipe away with a cotton ball. OK. OK. So did you have any other questions? No. OK. Well, let's do follow up with her in a week, just so we can make sure the infection is completely gone. Perfect. OK. I'll see you then. Sounds good. Thanks, Dr. Nardi. You're welcome. Come on, Maggie. After a quick trip to the groomers, where Maggie receives her red training collar, it's back to the ranch to meet the rest of the pack. Make her feel welcome, guys. She's nervous. Maggie, come here. Go slow. Go on. Take a look around. You're safe here. Welcome to the Lucky Dog Ranch. <laughs> All right. Class is now in session. The next morning, Maggie's right, training right. officially kicks off you with her evaluation. All the way. All the way. Today, I'll be doing Maggie's assessment of her knowledge of the seven common commands, which are sit, stay, down, come, off, heel, and no. So the first thing I asked her to do was sit. Do you know a sit? And she does not sit. Can you come? Maggie, come on. Being astray, Maggie's lack of training is no surprise. I'll take that as a no. But it's her underlying anxiety issues that concern Brandon the most. She seems like a nervous Nelly. She doesn't seem to want to learn, and she doesn't seem to like being in the moment when I'm training her. This could be a number of things. It could be her personality. It could be something from her past. At this point, I honestly don't know. Don't be so nervous. You're in a safe place here. Come on. Very good boy. Excellent work. Hup, hup. Very good boy.